And we're continuing our heritage celebrations right here in the kitchen, making traditional and unique South African dishes. And today, Marco's lekker boerenkoos. Weet, as a kind kan ek onthou die hele familie op sondag saam getrek het, en dan was het reis, vleis en aardappels, en dan een lekker pudding daarna, saage pudding, melk daar, perske skyfies met vla, of selfs a heerlijke malva pudding. But today, we're making something different, but still boerenkoos. Moira in studio with us. Moira, lovely to have you with us in studio. So, the focus today on uh, the Afrikaans side of the cooking. Yes, well, um, thank you for having me on the show again. Such a pleasure. It's such a pleasure cooking with you. Um, when I was growing up, my mom used to make uh, buddha beans. Yeah. Uh, well, she called it buddha, bo buddha, buddha boinkies or buddha beans. Yes. And um, her version was um, green beans. And she used to sit for hours slicing <laughs> the bean, green beans. They had to be sliced very thinly and in the perfect way. And so I thought I'd do a spin-off on that because right. it was one of my favorite uh, you know, comfort foods when you were growing up, especially with a Sunday roast. So right. we're going to do a little spin on it. We're going to um, make the Buddha beans, but then we're going to put it into little tartlets. I like um, it. With some bacon, because bacon goes so well with the green beans. It's almost like we're modernizing it a bit. We are modernizing tartlets. it. I've also added in some butter beans, but let me, let's get going and okay. then we'll add on along the way. Right. So we find your onions and some, some butter. All right. We're going to add some garlic. Perfect. Right. And then we're going to um, just saute that a little bit and then we'll add some potatoes. Now right. we're doing it back to front because before you would add in your beans and your, and your potatoes okay. and you'd cook it. Now, because the beans are cooked, we're just adding the potatoes. Oh, I see. The potatoes, they're not cooked in any way. They've just been... Just no, they've just been cubed and we, what we're going to do is we're going to add some stock to there. Okay. And then the stock, you're going to let it cook. And then when it's cooked nice and softly, then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. All right, so what kind of stock are we putting in here? Is it a vegetable, a chicken or a beef stock? It's up to you what you want to use. If you're vegetarian and use a vegetable stock, otherwise chicken works really well with it. Okay. Um, because it gives that extra meatiness and it goes with the Sunday roast. Nice. All so right. now we're going to bring that up to the boil. And if you want to just, um, we, with the time limits, we've just yeah. uh, got one ready already. All right, cool. Um, so that one, you'll just let it cook down. So this one has been cooked down already. This one's cooked down. The potatoes are nice and soft because ah, remember, yes. you need to be able to ma mash it slightly. Okay. All and right. we're going to add in our green our, beans. Put up our temperature there. Perfect. All right. Um, we're going to add in our green beans. And look at that. Nicely <laughs> sliced of you already. It's all done. All all nice and, f nice and even, yes. and we're going to add in some butter beans. Okay. Remember just to drain your butter beans and um, give them a rinse, um, yeah. just, just so that they mix in nice with the potatoes and you've got all the flavour coming through from the butter beans and the green beans. Right. And then just remember, because your potatoes have cooked in the stock, there is salt in it already, so yes. be careful with your seasoning. So you add in a little pinch, Okay. and then we'll put in some black pepper, because Buddha beans for me is lots of black <laughs> pepper. Well, um, any beans technically for me is black pepper, so, correct. so there we go. I like a little bit of zing in it. Um, I add in some lemon, just a squeeze of lemon, just to bring out all the right. flavours of the, of the garlic, the beans, oh, and nice. all the ingredients that you're cooking with. Now you can see all the liquid has evaporated, yeah. and now all we do is we mash it like you would normal. Yeah. Um, Buddha beans with a, with a potato masher, or you can whiz it with a blender, um, but right. I like it rustic. Okay, rustic, right. like just normal mash it by Just normal like mash. It. And okay, I have cool. one done here already, so, so we can carry on and do it. All right, um, you'll see how lovely it came out. It's nice oh. and rustic, um, it's got lovely flavours coming yeah. through from the beans and the butter beans. Yeah. And obviously the nutrition is there. Yes. All right, so then you're going to take a, a muffin tray and you line it with your bacon. Um, your bacon. Streaky bacon is the best to be used. And then we're just going to add a teaspoon of the filling in the middle. All right. Um, and now, why don't you do that for me? Why not? And why then I'll, not? Make, I'll make the egg custard. Okay, you make the egg custard. I'm going to swap around with swap you. Swap places with you. So, so how, 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 how? So just, you I just want one tablespoon because you're still going to add some egg custard to that. Is that good? Just like that? That's perfect. All right, I'll try and stick to that. Yeah. Let's make right. a couple here. And then on your left, I've got um, my eggs and I'm going to add um, some milk into that. All right. Um, a little bit of uh, flour. And while you add the flour, you don't want it to clot. You're going to just whisk with your whisk. This yes. is really just to bind the egg custard. And then we're going to add a little bit of baking powder so that it, it rises. Okay. It's, it's like a little mini um, quiche. Buddha bean tartlers right here on your feel good breakfast show this morning. If you want to get your hands on the recipe, very easy. SMS the keyword Q 23728. That's Q 23728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also, add a link to the recipe that you can go follow. Just keep in mind those SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. All right. Okay. And lastly, I add in some parmesan cheese just to make it extra cheesy. And you nice. really, it's really lovely. Yeah. It brings out all the flavors. It's really decadent. And then you'll take your spoon. Um, this okay. is probably easier to use, or a little yeah. jug. And then you take some of the egg custard and you just pour it over the top. Okay. Oh, and then it'll that. seep through. That is ah. the cherry on top for sure. 
And then one, then you're going to put it into the oven and you're going to bake it at 180, a nice hot oven, 15 yeah. to 20 minutes, right, um, until depending the bacon on your is oven done. heat. And then you, there we, on my left, you can see the finished product. It's um, lovely and delicious, looks wholesome. And that's served on your plate with your Sunday roast, looks so much better easy, than just, a, easy, than just a spoon of food. I like it. Brilliant. That's amazing. What a great idea. Buddha bean tartlers this morning, the keyword coup to 33728. If you want to see how we made it one more time, here's your chance. Line muffin tins with streaky bacon. Saute onion and garlic, then add potatoes and chicken stock and cook until potatoes are soft. Add Koo green beans and Koo butter beans. Cook for 10 minutes. Mash the mixture together. Season and add a squeeze of lemon. Put spoonfuls into each muffin tin hole on top of the bacon. Whisk together eggs, milk, flour, parmesan and baking powder. Then pour over burra bean mixture. Bake for 20 minutes. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50. No free SMSs. T's and C's apply. And there you have it, some Buddha bean tartlets right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. But we would like to ask you to share your recipes with us. If you have some beautiful recipes using Koo products, share them with us. You can email those recipes to food at expressoshow.com and uh, Chef Moira could be making your recipe live on air right here on Expresso. Only the best cooks serve Koo because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve Koo, you can trust you serving only the best.